preparations are underway downtown right now where tens of thousands of people are going to gather in a small area, one street in the Oregon district. And among the people with drinks and costumes, there's going to be more police officers and security guards. $14,000. That's the price tag for safety at the annual Haunt Fest in the Oregon District. A larger police presence uh, deters some of the uh, antics that might happen otherwise. Andy Rowe is a manager at Blind Bob's. This is his sixth year being involved in the Halloween festivities. He says it's a huge night for the bar, but it can also bring trouble. He witnessed someone being tackled to the ground a few years ago. I was thinking to myself, you know, what's this going to be like? But uh, other than that one incident five, six years ago, uh, it's been pretty smooth. That's because over the last four years, the police presence has been consistent. I talked to Michael Martin, the president of the Oregon District Business Association. They will write the check for the officers on hand for the big celebration. We've worked very hard and very specifically at, at bringing, at literally raising the bar in the Oregon District that all their business is operating here. You'll see officers stationed wherever cash is being handled. They'll cover the entrances to make sure alcohol isn't being brought in or out. They'll also be walking through the crowds. Martin says pre-sale tickets are going fast. He's had some business owners call to say they'd already run out. I got calls as late as a minute before midnight last night looking for pre-sale tickets. Businesses are gearing up for a big night of sales, but they're also focusing on safety. Martin says employees at all of the taverns have gone through training to handle incidents inside their businesses, which has been a huge help. This being our sixth one, I feel like we're starting to get the hang of it. Martin says you can expect to see maybe an even bigger crowd than in previous years just based on those pre-sales, those numbers, and also the milder weather. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore. Two News working for you.